everybody. You know who it is. And I only have two sticky notes, so it shouldn't take me very long. But after I tell you guys the Huntington stuff real quick, I'll tell you about my urology appointment yesterday um, and something about the requip. So I'll save that for later. Um, but this morning, or let's see, earlier this week, I got my pitcher of coffee out and then put it back in the fridge without getting any coffee in a cup. And I was very sad, like somebody took my coffee, but I had not poured it yet. Obviously, I needed to drink some coffee. All right. And oh, this morning, I came over and sat down at the table, but I had forgotten to bring over my sandwich, uh, breakfast sandwich. Okay. Yes, almost fell up the stairs. Uh, two times. I know I wear trip flops in the house and that's what I call them. I know it's not a very safe way um, But anyway, I it, it was almost falling up the stairs, but at least it's not almost falling down the stairs um, But I am getting more um, uh, Like I'm losing my balance a lot more um, Oh, also I walked into my bed frame the big heavy wood part with my groin and there's a nice huge bruise over here on my leg and that, that really hurt again it's going to be nice when the house we are moving into has more room in my room and i'm not going to have any i think i told you guys um i won't be having a bed frame at all um so no headboard so i'll have a lot less things to hurt myself on um yes so I, I almost fell against the window in my room because, uh, I, again, I've lost my balance a couple of times and caught myself. Uh, but also when I was standing in the back of Brian's truck, I also almost fell over. Um, so it just seems that I'm more um, easily yeah, losing my balance a lot more. I might have to start going to see the physical therapist again if it gets bad, worse. Um, okay, so, okay. yes, and because I'm going into the bathroom, um, sometimes, you know, uh, but I keep flushing the toilet, which is weird because there's nothing in there, because obviously I don't use the bathroom very much anymore because of this wonderful pee bag I have with me. Um, so anyway, that's kind of funny. All right. Yes. All right, that is all the Huntington things. So, I ran out of my requip. So, when I was first getting on it, I think I told you guys they had me titrate up uh, to with half milligram tablets until you got to two tablets, and it said don't go over two tablets. So I was talking with the doctor, and I was like, it's working great, you know. But then a couple weeks go by, and there's like one or two nights a week that for whatever reason it, I'm still like I'm super super tired but I still feel a little bit of restlessness so I was taking like half a milligram tablets um, for sleep that night but I hadn't talked to the doctor about that so I ran out I was out for five, no, it was like seven, almost a week um, that I was out of my requip, but I talked to my doctor, and so she wrote me a prescription for a little bit more just in case I need it, um, but again, the two milligrams really does help, um, but now it's nice that I won't run out of it again if I need to take more, so, okay, and I love my requip, oh my gosh, it's great. Okay, uh, yes, so yes, my terrible, awful urology appointment yesterday, um, it just, so they had to, I, I told you guys, use a catheter in two places and fill me up with fluid and then like um, have me tell them when it felt like I was, it was really interesting because I was like thinking they would have to like I don't know how they were filling me with fluid, but apparently they were. Um, they they hooked me up to something, and so I was. Just, it was interesting because I'm like, how am I feeling? Like I have to go pee, and then they would do whatever to make it be released. So I have no idea how they were doing that. It was kind of like magic or something, but they had to put the scope in after. Um, 
And apparently the scope, if anybody hasn't had it before, it really hurts. It's bigger than the catheter, um, even with the local antiseptic they put on it. Um, so it, yes, it was very uncomfortable. And um, today I'm still sore. So I know come the day of the appointment, like it's gonna be not great. Because that, that's how they, this little tiny scope somehow, they have a little tiny needle in there that's going to like do a bunch of injections of Botox into the muscles. So, but they are, uh, they gave me a prescription for one Valium and one um, antibiotic and one uh, Vicodin. So I'm supposed to take that an hour before and it's supposed to help. You know, uh, but it seems like they don't have, they haven't prescribed me any pain pills for after the procedure, but I know I'll be even more sore then because uh, they didn't, they weren't in the, with the scope for very long. And so um, I hope maybe I can see, but I had, I've gotten LASIK a long time ago and I had Valium before my, um, surgery and it worked really well with relaxing me and stuff but i just know i'm gonna be really sore after so but still you know looking forward to the benefits of um what it's supposed to do so okay so now i've caught you guys up on everything oh and the song of the day is come out of hiding uh, by stephanie gretzinger i know i've chosen that song a few times but i just love it i love it so much so that's the song um and then the psalm from the devotional is uh psalm 11 a song of the steadfast lord don't you hear what my well-mannered friends are saying to me run away while you can but don't they know, Lord, that I have made you my only hiding place? Don't they know that I am I always trust in you? Yet the eternal one is never shaken. He is still found in his temple of holiness, reigning as Lord and King over all. And with a glance his eyes examine every heart, for his heavenly rule will prevail over all. He will test both the righteous and the wicked, exposing each heart. But remember this, the righteous Lord loves what is right and just, and every godly one will come into his presence and gaze upon his face. So there you guys are, you're all caught up for Tuesday, and I will talk when I have more to say. I hope you guys have a great week.